Hi, I'm Lee Teschler, Executive Editor of Design World Magazine and EE World. And I'm Kelsey Ferrante, Associate Editor. Today we've got a teardown that's a bit different. In Season 1 of the TV series Mr. Robot, TV viewers who tuned into Episode 5 watched the main character try to destroy magnetic tape data backups by hacking into a climate control system. The plan was to raise the temperature of the storage room to a point where the tapes would be compromised. The plan hinged on connecting an ordinary Raspberry Pi computer board into the climate control system. The Pi would simply override climate commands from the building automation controller. Now, in Mr. Robot, this scheme actually worked as planned. Of course, script writers have a reputation for playing fast and loose with facts in the interest of a compelling story. Technology literate viewers might wonder whether the events of Episode 5 could really unfold in real life the way writers envisioned them. We wondered the same thing, so we asked a couple of security experts about various aspects of the plot. In this video, we'll review the main technologies that added the drama to that episode. We'll begin with the Raspberry Pi and the thermostat. To compromise the climate control system, the main character, played by Rami Malek, takes the thermostat off the wall and finds a big hole behind it, or at least a hole big enough to let a Raspberry Pi board fit through. That was the first thing we questioned about the scenario, because if you take a thermostat from your house off the walls, you'll probably find a hole big enough for a couple of wires. The pie board measures a little over three inches by two inches, so it obviously won't fit through a hole made for a few wires. But our security consultant said, yeah, industrial and commercial thermostats that are networked can have large holes in the wall, so they weren't put off by the size of the hole in Mr. Robot. We next wanted to know whether a Raspberry Pi connected to a climate control network could really fool a controller into boosting the temperature of certain rooms. Once again, our security experts said this idea is entirely plausible. The reason it would work is that networks widely used for climate control and building automation are all open and don't have any security measures built in. So when a device like a thermostat sees a command coming over the network, it just assumes that the command is valid. There are several kinds of networks in use for climate control, some of them proprietary, but they were originally devised before security was an issue, which is why they're vulnerable to kind of attack portrayed in Mr. Robot. The hackers in Mr. Robot were also able to access the compromised climate control system simply by going to a website on a laptop. Once again, our security experts say this is plausible. The website used in the episode is called Shodan, and it exists in real life. Shodan is a search engine that lets users find not just climate control systems, but also routers, servers, and other equipment connected to the internet. Though designed for use by web security personnel, Shodan became notorious a few years ago when people noticed it could be used to access unprotected traffic lights and even video baby monitors. The reason Shodan can find climate control systems is that they've been plugged into a company web server that reaches the internet. Conversely, Shodan won't see HVAC systems operating on their own closed networks. Shodan crawls the web looking for IP addresses with the port left open without password protection or with only the default password settings. When it sees one, it takes a snapshot of the connection and moves on. Now as a quick review, the ports we're talking about are basically a numbering system used by transport layer protocols to identify specific processes or network services. For example, one of the network protocols used for climate control systems is called BACnet. BACnet messages use the UDP port number 47808. Hackers on Mr. Robot used one other piece of software in their penetration of the climate control system called Kali Linux. It too is a real world program. It basically is an operating system designed by two security experts for doing network penetration tests. It contains a toolkit for such tasks as cracking Wi-Fi passwords, creating fake networks, and analyzing network traffic. There are versions of it available for the Raspberry Pi. It is small enough to run from the Pi's SD card. In the case of the Mr. Robot hack, we might surmise that the hackers used Kali to watch network traffic and determine which devices were the thermostats controlling the tape storage rooms. With that information, the Pi would have mimicked the thermostats and generated commands to the HVAC controller to boost the temperature in those rooms. We hope you've enjoyed this look inside a make-believe hack. For more videos giving an inside look at real technology, go to eeworldonline.com.